Hello, um, in this tutorial I'll be talking about stacks and queues. Um, like the link list we learned um, in the last video, stacks and queues are also very basic linear data structures. Uh, they, they both have flexible sizes, which means that they're going to grow as you add in more data, and it's going to shrink as you take it out. Um, but the main difference between a stack and a queue is the way data is removed. Stacks have a last-in, first-out data structure. It's also known as LIFO. The last one you put in would be the one that you take out the first. That's why it's called a stack. It's like a stack in real life. For example, if there's a stack of books and you want to remove a book from the stack, you'll have to take away the book that is on the top. And that book on the top would have been placed there at the last. When we're putting something in a stack, when you're putting an item or data in a stack, uh, we call it push. And when we take it out, we call it pop. So push and pop would be the two main functions that we use when we handle a stack. And for queues, it's going to be FIFO, first in, first out, which works like a normal queue in real life. Just think of a line at a supermarket cashier. Um, the first person to, to join the line would be the first one to be served. So for queues, when we um, add an item into a queue, we say that we enqueued an item. And when we take it out, we'll say we dequeued it, which means we took out the one that went, that has been there for the longest time. So that's the basic explanation of stacks and queues. Now let's go and implement this in code. Um, first, let's start working on stacks. So. and we'll define a struct. And the struct will hold a slice that holds the values, um, items. And we're gonna make two methods for stack. Uh, we're gonna make push and pop. So I'm just gonna make a memo here, push and pop. A push will add a value at the back. It needs to take in a stack as a pointer receiver because we would actually want to change the receiver. We're going to make modifications. So and this will have to take in an integer that should be added. So we'll add i integer and there's not going to be any returns. We're just going to append this integer to, to items. And because append will return a slice with the appended integer, uh, we need to replace that with the existing items. So we'll have to do this. OK, now let's see if this works. We haven't done much, but let's just check if it works. Okay, uh, we will make a new stack and call it my stack. And to see the before and after, we're just going to print it out. And then we're going to push in something. Uh, we're going to uh, push in three numbers and then let's print it. Okay. Um, And here we can see that push works fine. We successfully pushed in three numbers. Okay, now let's go and make pop. Okay, right here. Okay, I'm just gonna go and fill in the comments. And pop will at the end, okay. And returns the removed another value. Okay, so pop is going to remove a value at the end and it's going to return the removed value. Okay. Uh, 
uh, we're going to need a pointer receiver and we're not going to take in anything but we need to return the integer that was removed so int okay nice and inside we'll replace items uh, with the one without the last integer so it should be uh, replace items This means it's going to start from the beginning and it's going to just leave one out at the end and replace items. We need to return the removed item. But uh, we can't get the removed item from items anymore because we already removed it. So that's why we need to store the removed item in a variable first. So let's store it in to remove. Um, yes, and we return to remove. But I really don't like it how I'm writing, I'm calling the length function twice, so I'm going to put that in a variable as well. And then just like that. Okay, good. So let's go and try to run the pop method. Just need to, uh, I'll just pop one value. Okay, let's, uh, let's save it and run it. Okay, good. Um, you can see that we popped out 300. The integer that entered the last in the list is popped out. Okay. Now that was very simple. Now let's go and um, implement a queue. Okay, uh, we're going to implement two functions, uh, nq, oops, and dq. And of course we need to define the struct called Q. Okay, let's start with Q, let's start. Okay, uh, just like stacks, uh, we're just going to go, just put in a slice. So like I mentioned before, stacks and queues, the way you input data is going to be the same. The only difference between the two is how you remove it. So in queue would look the same as stacks, but DQ is going to have a little bit of a change. Okay, let's go to in queue. Need a pointer receiver. It needs to take in an integer and no returns. Okay, it's just the same as stacks, nothing special. But still, we're just going to go and check if it works. Uh, we'll make a new queue called my queue. And just going to print it. And we will add in three numbers just like before. And we will print it after. Okay. Okay, you can see that we successfully added three numbers. Okay, let's go and do the DQ. And we have the front and returns. We will need a pointer receiver. We don't need any parameters, but we need to return the removed value. So it goes like that. 
and inside we need to return the removed integer. So first, let's store it in to remove. And we will need to remove the first integer, the one in the front, index 0. And then we will actually have to remove it, so q.items. So we're going to skip index 0, start from 1 to the end. Okay. And then we will return to remove. Okay, and we can run it by adding my q.dq and then okay this time it's going to dq but instead of taking away the one added last it's going to take away what the one that's added first okay good um, you can see that 100 is dq'd um, yes, I think this is this is it. So this is what stacks and queues are. Uh, this tutorial, uh, we just aim to understand the basic concepts and I try to be as concise as possible. So I hope you got the point and um, I hope this was helpful. Um, yes, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.